you should become familiar with different types of acids and bases. We've defined acids and bases using the bronsted lowry definition. Acid is a proton donor and base is a proton acceptor, but there's also different types of acids and bases and further different strengths of acids and bases. The types of acids and bases are um, classified based on their chemical formula. There are binary acids, ternary acids, and organic acids. The binary acids are made of a hydrogen and a non-metal. A hydrogen and some non-metal, such as hydrochloric acid. Ternary acids are made of three elements, hydrogen, oxygen, and some other non-metal. Ternary acids can be uh, monoprotic, diprotic, polyprotic, and sometimes they're also called oxy acids because they contain oxygen. A third type of acid you should be familiar with is an organic acid, and the organic acids have some organic side chain, some hydrocarbon, and the C O OH side group and sometimes it's written COOH in this way in the formula and then this is the the structural what's connected to what. Bases are categorized at, into two groups soluble bases or insoluble bases and the soluble bases include um, ammonia based bases um, some um, ammonia or a derivative of ammonia or uh, the soluble uh, metal hydroxides. Insoluble bases are the insoluble metal hydroxides. Now all of these um, can be categorized further as strong or weak. And this word strong or weak has to do with the extent of ionization when that particular compound is placed in water. And further, strong or weak has to do with dilute solutions of acids in water or bases in water. Um, <clears throat> strong acids can be binary or ternary. Um, you must memorize the short list of strong acids and the short list of strong bases. Everything else not on your two short lists would be considered weak, so you just need to familiarize yourself with the weak acids and bases. The weak bases are the derivatives of ammonia and the insoluble bases, whereas the weak acids can be binary or ternary and the organic acids. So the short list that you need to memorize are the strong acids and the strong bases. The strong acids, there's seven of them, hydrochloric, nitric, sulfuric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, chloric, and perchloric. These, uh, this short list of acids uh, must be memorized, both the formula and the name, and you can see there's binary and ternary acids included in that list, including a diprotic ternary acid. The strong bases are the group 1 hydroxides and some of the group 2 hydroxides, the soluble group 2 hydroxides. So you just need to remember lithium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, potassium, rubidium, and cesium hydroxide, calcium, strontium, and barium hydroxide as your eight strong bases. Now the insoluble bases um, a good example of an insoluble base is magnesium hydroxide. It is a group 2 metal hydroxide however it's not a soluble hydroxide therefore it has limited solubility so it will produce limited ions in solution and that's why it's considered a weak base due to its limited ionization or its limited ability to disassociate when placed in water. Another insoluble base would be, for example, iron 2 hydroxide. So you just need to memorize the hydroxides of the group 1 metals and those few group 2 metals to remember the strong bases.